What's up, fire signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for the fire gods. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, let's see what's going down for the daily motherfucking vibe. I hope coming into the month of November is wonderful for you. Let's see what tarot has in store. Let's see what we got going on. You already know how I do. I check out the romance angels first. And then we go from there. We open up from there with the advice cards. So pick and choose your motherfucking story. I don't give a fuck about the complaining. Y'all already know I'm not going to put no disclaimers on no shit. Check that description box if you need any other information. Okay. Okay. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Y'all be behind on the videos. And y'all know I'm going to talk some shit. So, I hope y'all bring in this November with grace, okay? Let's see what we got going on for the magical, not the magical messages from the fairies, but the romance angels. Children, your love life is being affected by children, fire signs. Uh-oh. So, some little baddies, okay? Little baby kids. Some of y'all might be uh, taking care of them, taking care of their needs, okay? For some of you all, you might have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? So things might be coming to an end or you just really don't, you don't even like the motherfucking no more, okay? And or also, damn, we got separation, finances, and career, okay? So we're going to put these two together, separation, Time apart from your partners on the horizon. And financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Somebody said, I remember they said in the comments, that means that their love life is dry. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. We're going to find out about this unrequited love and the separation. All right, love. For some of you guys, you could you could have loved this person very, very deeply at some point in time, but I feel like there uh, was some sort of communication or there could be some sort of communication that needs to go down. Um, someone could have moved here, all right? Could have been a separation or they could have moved to a different place in love. Um, but I'm seeing you guys are kind of just going with the flow, all right? So let's see what's going on with the finances and the career. And then the children. We have balance, all right? So someone needs to have balance in their finance, their career, and in their love life. Whatever the case may be, you're going to find that split, mush together purpose, okay? Um, and it's also saying win or lose. So you could be choosing your finances over your love life, okay? Um, some of you guys could be having battles in your career or in your finances. Whatever the case may be, you're going to find balance, okay? Now, children, somebody need to be controlled here with a bad ass, okay? <laughs> somebody could be trying to control what's going on within their children. Now, if you don't have children, it could be that you're having these fond memories of your childhood, things of that nature, okay? So let's see what this unrequited love is all about with tarot. Let's find out what's going on. Separation, unrequited love. Throat chakra means communication to me or speaking up. Also making a move where there could have been a separation with an, a move of a romantic interest. Five of cup energy here, also world. So I feel some of you guys uh, are at this place where you're kind of not wanting to come together. You feel left out. You feel like someone could be um, trying to keep you emotionally, all right, in their love. But also at the same time, they're not making any actions with this Knight of Cups. Okay, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. I'm also feeling like some of you all know that this is a struggle. If you were to deal with it, even with communication or this person speaking up on their communication, you know it's a struggle and their separation, especially once they had this move or there could have been a separation between you two. All right. 
but I feel like there's someone who's not really requiring themselves to let go to make a new start or to have a fresh start. You just don't really feel like it's all the way there with this, um, with the star energy in reverse. Okay. So some of y'all could have just been a sex thing or, uh, they just like seeing you naked. All right. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, something that you found the truth about. You just don't like it. You're not feeling that shit. Okay. It could be a separation as to why you aren't feeling that shit. So, Finances and career. Let's see what's up. It's saying to go along with the flow in your finances and your career. Balance. There's that Libra card. You guys could be dealing with a Libra. All right. But it's balance in your finances and your career. Going with the flow. Navigating places to where you want to go. Okay. At your own time, your own pace. We also have your working commitments. You guys could be uh, working. Messaging people and working and feeling like you're still not kind of quite accomplishing some things here, especially with that win or lose. Okay, it could be that you're dealing with a fire sign, also Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, some earth sign at work, or somebody just needs to find balance. Could be just trying to go along with the flow, but you feel like you're kind of committed or uh, you feel like there's some sort of commitment here that you're wanting. Okay, some of you all really just aren't really... You're not really feeling a new start or a new beginning, okay, or any type of passion. For some of you guys, your finances is what's on your mind, okay? And I'm also seeing here, uh, Nine of Pentacles, going back and forth, could be traveling, could be some sort of loyalty here that you have towards something or someone, uh, but you're afraid of starting over, you're afraid of the end. You're just kind of in this purgatory type state, just staying in the same energy, okay? Is what I'm feeling like. Some of you all are feeling like you're too loyal, and too stagnant, uh, you know, in your finances and in your career or how it's going, okay, or how things are going with people surrounded by United Cups energy here. So let's see what these chitrins all about. It's in the control. Four of Wands. Somebody needs to take care of the household issues or some sort of household. This is the message Spirits is giving me. Some of y'all need some, some tranquil energy or you need some time away to regroup, all right? Um, I fet like you're not really able to sit down and relax and just keep things stable. Uh, I feel like you're kind of on the go. You're trying to control a lot of the situation, but you just don't have any actions or there could be some actions that are some issues or top matter um, that need to happen. But I feel 10 of Pentacle energy here. You guys are taking care of your stability. Um, I feel like some of you guys feel uh, like it might be a threat. That there could be some money issues or something like that. But for some of you guys, I just really feel like you're trying to get your emotions together trying to prepare yourself for any other possibilities there could be um for some of you some love coming in your direction with the ace of cups okay but you're afraid to take that gamble for some of you fire signs could be a letter or a note that someone needs to write you possible uh virgo towards capricorn gemini libra aquarius some of you guys feel hurt right now and you're just concentrating on your finances in your career so let's see about possible outcomes. Let me get these cards together. Let's see about possible outcomes for my fire signs for the daily vibe. All right. So far we have the five of sword energy. So there could have been some sort of argument or there could be a disagreement. This is probably what this unrequited love is all about. I have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and also with the Knight of Swords, someone who's coming in pretty angry because they're spending time away from the situation. They're uh, distant from the situation, okay? Or someone's not taking an action because it's a lot of toxicity here. Could be Capricorn that's involved for some of you guys. Also could be Virgo, uh, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy with this lovers, okay? Also with the Knight of Swords. I feel some of you guys are really closed off because it's a lot of toxicity here. Okay, that's just for some groups. Because these two cards came in together. So there could be some sort of relationship or something that you're holding on or something that the divine is telling you to hold on to. But it could be dangerous. It could be toxic. It could be, um, you could be trying to be cautious. Okay, but I feel someone... It's heartbroken over some news or over a bond that they have that could have been broken. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, there's some message here 
Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. I feel like there's this mothering energy. Okay, like somebody trying to mother their child with the Page of Cups energy here. And also the Queen of Cups could be a water sign you're dealing with. But I, there's a message here. Okay, the High Priestess is here too. Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. I just seen the Ten of Cups. So someone could be spying on you, fire signs. Or they're looking at you. They're looking at your social media, whatever the case may be. But someone is watching to see when is the best opportunity to communicate with you, even though there is a decision, even though they know that they've broken your heart. Okay, this is some kind of narcissistic type of quality. So some of you always seen those red flags. And why it's an unrequited love, okay? Uh, I feel like this person's kind of immature with this emperor energy. I'm also seeing here someone had the truth come out, or there could be some truths that come out with this moon energy you could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Okay. Or somebody had a lot of hidden mysteries, a lot of deep, um, illusions that were surrounded by this person. Okay. So with this coming in, I feel there's a new opportunity coming your way. Um, I'm seeing here the Empress energy and also the three of wands both coming in reverse. So I feel someone's getting rid of a third party situation. But there is a new beginning that's coming in with this Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of destiny, Ace of Pentacles energy here. Could be needing some, getting some help, some outside help. Okay. I'm also seeing here for some of you guys, there is um, a lot of giving and receiving here. Or someone is trying to um, respect the giving and receiving end. Okay. But I feel with this magician energy, like I said, it's a lot of narcissistic qualities. You know, this person's flip floppy. They're all about themselves, but then they want to come to you after they've broken your heart, that type of shit. Uh, but I feel someone's going to try to come and come out of the colds with you, all right? Um, but you're really financially focused. Some of you all are just trying to get rid of um, the stubbornness, okay? But you're taking care of your business and your finances. But they definitely want to come out of the cold with you, so be aware of that. They could be coming out of nowhere. It could be another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. They kind of feel stuck. But I do feel um, somebody's being very critical. Like I said, this is definitely that narcissistic energy. So be aware of that. But brighter days are coming ahead, okay? Because you have put focus in the areas and the lessons that you've learned. Even though there's more to come, there's definitely a new focus here with the sun energy, nine of pentacles. So some of you all just feel at a peace of mind in your essence, okay? Or you're going to try to feel as best as possible with the circumstances that you have. But I feel like success is on its way to you. Six of one energy here. Okay. Also a uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio here that wants to take an action towards you. Queen of wands. This is you. But I feel like you guys also Scorpio, but I feel like some of you guys really just don't want to communicate with this person. It's kind of like you really shut this in, just shut this out of your energy. Okay. But I feel like there's a decision to be made, but things are becoming very clear. Just go along with the flow. I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. All right, I love you guys. Peace. See you in the next video.